Hello, good morning. I just drove here to the Contemporary Resort. I am so excited for today's vlog. This is something that I had seen on Instagram, like I think it started back in like the summer and I've been wanting to do it ever since. I'm going to the Contemporary today with my friend Megan and we are going to be painting, doing the DIY once upon a painting experience that they have actually located up at the California Grill. And what it is, is you paint a ceramic like little Cinderella castle it is so fun. I'm a very artsy, crafty person. I love painting and art, drawing, like all of that. So something like this, like a DIY crafting thing is just right up my alley. So I'm so excited. So like I said, I'm meeting up with my friend Megan. I have Figment with me as well for everyone who saw the vlog when I got him and I had my two little Figments riding in the backseat with me. I have this little guy with me again. I have my Figment is back at the apartment. And so the second Figment that I got is actually for my friend Megan that I'm meeting up with today. I picked him up for her. So he got to have another car ride. <laughs> but yeah, okay, let's go ahead and we'll head into the contemporary. All right, Figment, come along. Let's go. Let's go into the contemporary. Okay. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Heading in to the contemporary. Got my little Figment buddy with me again today. I feel like it's been so long since I've ever, like, you know, parked here in this part of the main contemporary parking lot. I feel like most of the time when me and my family have come here to die and stuff, we're over on like the Bay Lake Tower side to park. So it's kind of cool to get to like walk through this whole main entrance, this whole like pretty area. Like I feel like I really haven't explored this part of this resort that much. So yeah, because I'm doing the painting thing here today, I was able to park here at the Contemporary Resort. So I get to say it, <laughs> it was my first time parking at the Contemporary myself as a Floridian. <laughs> you know I'm gonna try to say that every chance I get, you know that. Oh my gosh, would you look at this? They have like a Mickey right here in the flower bed. That is so cute. Just stood up here on this little bench to show you. Look, how cute is that? Okay, so also today is February 18th. Yesterday was February 17th. And yesterday marked the first day that fully vaccinated guests can go anywhere on Disney property, except for certain transportation, um, but can go any indoor, outdoor locations and have masks be fully optional for you. And right now I just did like, it's like I'm trained. Like I just went like, I'm like, oh, I'm going inside. Where's my mask? And then I'm like, wait, I don't need it. Like it, it, it's the little moments, you know, I'm like, this is my first time experiencing being on Disney property. Cause I didn't come over yesterday. I was getting caught up on some stuff around the apartment. So I did not come into Disney property yesterday, the day that that officially took effect. So this is my first time like with the new ruling here. Okay, here we go. Just walking around. This is feels like 2019. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, I can actually smell like the um, resort scent of the contemporary. Like, oh, yay. So I got here a little bit early today. So me and my friend Megan were actually meeting. So the painting like class event thing that we're doing it starts at. 12:30. the cast member that I spoke to on the phone suggested we get here around like 12 just you know check in and everything but me and her are actually meeting at 11 because we want to go and we're gonna eat first at the Contempo Cafe and you guys know I love Contempo Cafe so I'm excited for that but yeah I actually got over here a little bit earlier myself just because I want to walk around just enjoy it is a beautiful beautiful day today I also have some exciting news so today mom and dad are coming for a visit their, their first visit coming to see me as a Floridian. They came to help me move, of course, and we had like some time then that we went to parks and had a couple days that they stayed in town for. But you know, that trip was very hectic and like a lot of moving in and everything. So this will be nice just to have like an actual like vacation with them here. So yeah, they're coming in for like President's Day weekend and a little extension into next week here. So I'm just, I'm so happy. I. I've missed them so much and it just, I, I'm so happy. So I'm just feeling on cloud nine today because I'm just like, mom and dad are coming, yay. So now I just need my Mickey. If he could come, that'd be amazing. But yeah, I'm so excited to see mom and dad. So I'm just, I've been like yesterday and today, it's just like it's sinking in, I'm like all giddy. But yeah, let's go ahead and walk around. It is, like I said, gorgeous out here today. It's so sunny and bright.
cool here at the Contemporary. They have this adorable Mickey photo op and they actually have like a little tripod thing. You could even just set like your phone probably propped here or like, your camera just right on here and it can act like a tripod and get a picture of your whole family. So yeah, I just did a little photo shoot. I grabbed this guy out and <laughs> had fun over here. Okay, Disney Wildlife update. The Contemporary squirrels are, I mean, amazing. They are cracking me up. They were chasing each other a second ago up the tree. This guy is getting up on the hedges. <laughs> what are we doing, guys? You guys are fabulous. I love you. Or you gotta come get a photo too with Mickey? Yeah, right now I'm just doing a little bit of exploring of the grounds. I feel like this is the monorail resort that I don't want to say gets the least amount of love, but you know, I have to even admit, like I always think about resort hopping around Polynesian, Grand Floridian, but it's like, you gotta come and see. I love the contemporary. It is seriously one of my favorites. So yeah, I need to make it a priority just to come over here and just explore it more, explore the grounds, see everything. I think I'm just gonna chill right here for a bit and look at this view in front of me. Yeah, so my friend Megan just texted me that she's on her way. I'm very excited to see her and do this. This is something me and her had gone to Ohana together. Oh my gosh, that was like right after we both had traditions together. And we did some resort hopping then and we came around here and we happened to see the sign for this, it's called Once Upon a Painting, this castle painting thing that we're doing today. And we both like looked at each other and we're like, that would be amazing. And I've seen, I've seen people that I follow on Instagram do this before. And like ever since I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I want to do that. So yeah, I'm very excited. If you guys have ever watched my Vlogmas videos, me and my family, we did a little like ceramic village house the one year. That was so much fun with my cousin Katie. Everybody loves my cousin Katie. She I, <laughs> brings a lot of comedy to the vlogs. So yeah, that vlog was hilarious. We were like getting very intricate with our little houses. See, so, yeah, it's kind of something like that. I'm excited to get to do this. And I mean, it's at the California Grill, which is amazing that is the restaurant that is on the very very top floor of the contemporary all the way up there you get the views of basically all of disney property i i can't wait so i've also ever since we decided that we're going to come and do this i've been thinking about what i want to do like for my castle like do i want to do a traditional make it look like cinderella's castle or make it look like the 50th castle the current you know paint job that's on the castle or like birthday cake castle for the 25th anniversary that even popped in my mind but what have I been saying in my recent videos? Every time I'm over in Magic Kingdom, I keep saying how my favorite castle is actually Ariel and Eric's castle in Fantasyland. That would be the castle that I would want to live in. So, I now have it in my head that I'm going to try to attempt to replicate today like Ariel and Eric's castle. Wish me luck. Okay, we just came upstairs here at the Contemporary. Look at all the paint set up. We have all the color options, every color option we can imagine. Wow. I forgot this is your first time up here. Yes, beautiful. All right, here's our color selection. So I gotta try to figure out, they said we can get up to six colors. So I'm trying to see what I'm gonna need for my Ariel and Eric castle. Okay, here's our little castle. open for dinner. Here's our little castle. So this is what we do. We can look at the different colors we have and they have this little sheet. We just check off what we want and then she'll go bring it to us. Okay, I had to pull up a photo for inspiration from, I took this actually in Magic Kingdom the other night. But yeah, I think I have my colors picked out. So I'm gonna try to go with this. I was trying to match up as best I could with my six colors. Okay, here we go. Here's my colors. I may even try to mix, like, this one looks a little bit lighter. I might try to mix that to make, like, the base color with the yellow or brown. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I just left the painting party at the castle DIY here at Contemporary. It was so much fun. The experience 
was amazing. Just sitting up there, looking over at Magic Kingdom. I was with my friend Megan, who she's such a good friend. It was just so nice to be able to just like chat, chat about life. It's like you need friends like that. You need days like that. So we painted our castles and now they actually are getting um, like kilns or gla they're getting glazed. And she said they'll be ready for pickup by like eight o'clock tonight or anytime later at the, over here actually at Bay Lake Tower at the community hall. So I'm gonna go ahead at some point either, I don't know if I'll be back over this way tonight cause mom and dad are coming. So I'm gonna get ready to head back and get ready to go to the hotel with them. But then at some point we'll have to come back and pick it up. I'm so excited. So I'll insert a picture of what my castle looked like. I went for the Ariel and Eric, you know, castle vibes. And I think it's gonna be cute. Hey guys, welcome to my apartment a couple days later, but I have now picked up my castle and I actually have not looked at it yet. So I'm gonna do the unboxing here on camera with you guys. Let's just talk about this experience was so much fun. It was like the perfect, if you're looking for like something different and extra to do on your vacation or if you're local and just like want like a fun girls day out or like a date night even up at the California Grill. It's like you're at the California Grill but you know, minus the evening dinner atmosphere. It's just like such a fun way just like to get up there. You have the atmosphere. You just get to like do a really fun craft. I love this so much. So actually, if you would have seen, I'm gonna link my Williamsburg vacation series that me and my parents over the summer, we went to Busch Gardens and Williamsburg. And I talked about in that series, if you've ever been to Busch Gardens Williamsburg before, they have a pottery studio there that you can actually like paint ceramics like this. And I talked about in that vlog series Series, like how I had like childhood memories of doing that and I love coming back now like as an adult and getting to do it and yeah that type of stuff is just like right up my alley so like this the fact that it's like you can do that experience at Disney World yeah it, it it was awesome and I already was like thinking I was like I just wanted to stay up there longer like that was my one thing was that it just the time went by so fast like I wish the experience was a little bit longer it's um it started at 12 30 we went up like a little bit like right before 12 30 and then it finishes at 2 30 so it's like about two hours and yeah I definitely could have like probably sat there and really got I was kind of having to rush at the end so I would have liked it to be a little more detailed because that's how I'm like a perfectionist in that way um so yeah I was like already thinking I was like oh my gosh what if Disney could like take this to the next level and like incorporate this into like the festival of the arts and do like back there in the world show place if they did something like this and make it like the thing in Williamsburg that you have a bunch of different options and just come in there and paint at your leisure like I feel like that could be pretty popular like I would be all about that <laughs> but okay anyway so I went to the contemporary to pick up like I mentioned in the video they said it would be ready by eight o'clock that evening to go pick up at community hall over at Bay Lake Tower and she said typically they can actually if you finish by two o'clock they can then go out there in the last like half hour of the class and actually cure it whatever they do like the glazing or whatever they could do it like right then and there and you can actually like walk away from the class with your finished piece which is pretty cool but they actually weren't able to do that because they had to go out on the, like the balconies the observation decks there at the california grill in order to do that and they had construction workers out there on the day that we were there so they weren't able to do that but typically if you do this experience it seems like if you finish in enough time you could actually walk away and take take your castle home that same day which is pretty cool i probably wouldn't have even had that happen because like i said i like to take my time so i would have been picking it up later anyway <laughs> yeah so then they were like you know just yeah swing by anytime over at bailey tower and we'll get y'all taken care of so i went just a couple days ago and picked up my castle and i love the packaging like they give it to you in this walt disney world parks and resorts bag so it's all nicely packaged like i was not expecting this i thought i was just gonna be walking out of there like juggling my little castle but no they actually give you this box to take it home in which is awesome and it says right on the top lighted magic castle and I did not realize this but my friend Megan was telling me when she went to pick hers up that it comes with a little light bulb that it's actually like a lighted ceramic like village house so that is like extremely awesome okay so I'm opening it up right now and there is the light and the light bulb so we have that and oh my goodness it, they always look so different once they've been you know cured and like the the glazing process oh my gosh i'm excited they have it bubble wrapped oh my gosh that i like it it's cute i really wanted to like take my time more and like do more like the shingle work and more like 
rock work here on the back. I kind of ran out of time. I was able to get some brick work done, but um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's gonna sit up on my little shelf. I'll probably put it out in like the kitchen, like the main part of my apartment and have it decorated out there because I really don't have any decorations for out in like that part of my apartment. So this will be perfect. And it's my favorite castle. Like I talked about, Ariel and Eric are my favorite Disney couple. They have the castle that I would want to live in. So there we go. So also I wanna go ahead and like I said, on this day that I filmed this video, my parents were actually coming in that evening. And the next day we ended up going to Disney Springs. We ate at the boathouse. And then we had some stuff we had to handle around the apartment and everything. But then that evening we went to one of the like really cheesy um, Disney tourist trap gift shops out on Westro LeBronson uh, Memorial Highway out there. We went to the one that's like the big mermaid one. So I'll insert the footage that I have from that day because there really wasn't like, you know, enough to make like its own whole vlog. So I'm gonna insert that right now. Okay, here's a Disney roadside gift shop that I don't know if we've ever been into before. It's the mermaid one here. So it's, I say Disney, but it's more so Orlando. And yes, they have like some of the Disney stuff. Like you see a lot of the little roadside shops do. So here we go, let's do it. So this area around here actually has like a lot of these type of places. Here's the mermaid one. <laughs> I love there's this other, it's called Disney Gifts Outlet over there. And they have a sign with like, well, they have all the different things. It's like t-shirts and then it's just like shells. It's like those places you see down the beach or something. <laughs> I want this. It's a little stuffed gator. It's so cute. Look at how big this is. Oh my gosh, I thought it was, it's two stories. I thought that was a third story, but that's a mirror there. So yeah, there's two stories. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. It's just everything. Everything Orlando specific. So I actually just spotted this little thing. It's this coin purse that I actually got this at one of the Orlando Walmarts a couple of years ago. And I, to this day, this is what is in my backpack and I use for all of my extra camera batteries and extra memory cards and everything. And it, I love it, it works perfect. And it's this exact one right here, the city of Orlando one. upstairs and we found this where they have like some clearance stuff it's kind of confusing how some of it's marked but you know this is kind of cute i actually a couple years ago got a bunch of like orlando sweatshirts and i would just live in them back in pennsylvania in the north <laughs> this was like my winter attire but yeah this one's like really fun and tie-dye so it's on sale for $16.99 $1.99 t-shirts florida t-shirts they have like the trouble oh look i wonder if it's because it's kind of like slightly damaged maybe when they printed it or something oh yeah look there's like kind of little imperfections about them like or land oh my gosh wait there's just a big gap in there it's like orla nando mm -hmm. and there's another little mark <laughs> you gotta love the character like the little character of these like roadside shops are these dog toys oh yeah they're little squeakers that say florida and a little boom they do have some pin lanyards in here too. <laughs> they have like slight imperfections. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video and coming with me on this fun little castle DIY day. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below, all those things, your likes, your comments, your subscription, it really does go such a far way in helping to support me and support the channel. So thank you for taking the time to do all of that. And with that, make today magical and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.